Hello everybody, to you, Bob Ponsor here, and in today's video we're going to be going over a few popular and unpopular problems with Titanfall 2. But of course, with this being the internet, I am required by law to tell you that this is an opinionated video, if that somehow isn't a given. As well, some of you may remember my last Titanfall 2 video did extremely well and is now the second most viewed video on my channel. And my first is a Destiny video. My parents won't even look at me in the eye because of that. But anyway, with that video being such a success, I can guarantee you that this video won't even come close. But anyway, let's get into it. First off, we're going to start small, and it's the fact that zip lines are nowhere in sight on any of the nine maps that we have here at launch. As well, the first DLC map that they're adding, Angel City, which is a remake from Titanfall 1, doesn't have zip lines either. Also, they are in the campaign of Titanfall 2, so I'm very interested as to why the first 10 maps of this game do not include such a simple feature that really complements the fast-paced gameplay style that Titanfall's all about, and I do hope that they come back at some point. Now, transitioning into our second point, I do understand that some of the maps we do have wouldn't really work well with zip lines, like the atrocity that is Homestead. This map is straight up garbage. And I said it last time, but it feels like 40 to 60% of the map is just missing. Like, even if the intention is to make it more Titan friendly, the map itself has to be Titanfall friendly, meaning it's got to cater to pilots as well. I understand when a map wants to lean towards Titan gameplay or lean towards pilot gameplay, but this map is a serious identity crisis because it fails to do both. Next off, we're going into customization, starting off the fact that when you choose your tactical, you choose your player model. I understand if Respawn's intention is to make a class more identifiable so you can be like oh hey they got a camel guy or hey they got two grapple hook users but in a game as fast paced as titanfall you're realistically not going to be caring about their player model because if that is your first priority then you're already dead personally i think we should be able to choose our player models individually and our tactical abilities individually as well even if Respawn's committed to the whole identifying who's who concept, then maybe even add variants. What if you want to play Stim but be a human? What if you're trying to use Grapple Hook and be a robot, you know? Even just adding one species variant would be an awesome thing to see. Have a Grapple Hook human and a Grapple Hook robot. Stim robot, Stim human. And I mean, hey, you've already got two gender options, why not two species options as well? Ha! Anyway. Next off, Titanfall 1 launched with 15 maps, Titanfall 2 launched with 9. Just something to think about. Also, another thing which I completely forgot about and many other people didn't even know, but Titanfall's getting a TV show. But much like the Halo TV show, there has been absolutely no news whatsoever. Continuing, and I'm sure this is probably going to be the most dividing, but I so much despise the battery mechanic in this game. The shielding in the original made sense. It worked. Even if your shields didn't drop all the way, your health did, assuring you're not in your Titan for the whole game. Unless you are just that good. But it's supposed to encourage teamwork despite the fact that the game's premier game mode is essentially just team deathmatch, killing. And the most teamwork involved there is trying to kill Titans. The most teamwork oriented game mode in Titanfall 2 is your par usual capture the flag. The battery mechanic just encourages teamwork in a way that's just inconvenient, a nuisance, a way to take you out of the action. Sure, it's supposed to make you change your playstyle, but it doesn't do much. You can see it in most cases. When trying to push teamwork in a game like Titanfall, I just don't think the batteries are the way to go. It doesn't do anything but hinder. Now, when it comes to batteries for taking down Titans, I think it's great. Pilots are much more able to take down Titans this time around, and I think that's where the battery mechanic should stay at, solely as a system for pilots to take down Titans, and not as an inconvenience to give you shields that you should already have. And again, it's a great way to kill Titans as a pilot. Notice how much less you see anti-Titan weapons being used, because you don't need one anymore to effectively take down Titans. And while I think making players choose between an anti-Titan weapon or a pistol is silly, it's mainly in part of the fact that the shields are gone and how effective you can be on the ground as a pilot against titans so to sum it up batteries terrible for teamwork terrific for titan takedowns that's a lot of t's next i miss burn cards rest in peace man next respawn where the fuck is my frontier defense tell me i missed that shit life boy that game mode injected so much life into Titanfall 1 for me and my friends, and that not only encouraged teamwork, but damn near required it. It's sad that they haven't said a word on it so far. Alright, two more things and we'll start wrapping it up. Now, Attrition's countdown timer, 10 minutes, is just a little bit too much. Or, a little bit too- Ah, shit! 
A little too little, you know what I mean. But games finish fast in attrition. In Halo, a typical game is 12 minutes, and that's the sweet spot in my opinion here for Titanfall 2. An extra two, hell, even one more minute added onto attrition would probably really help and address the high amount of games getting cut off by the time limit, which really sucks sometimes when you're making a comeback and get cut off. Maybe even do 600 points for 12 minutes, who knows? And for our final topic, which I was very pleased to see other people requesting in the Titanfall subreddit, but it's staying in first person when you're doing a takedown on an enemy, as well as even receiving the takedown and entering your Titan in first person. In the first game, when you did either of the two, you did it in first person, which always looked awesome. Even having your own neck snapped was cooler in first person when your head just suddenly turned 180 degrees as you looked into the eyes of your killer, Bobby. But Ram. Now, this time around in Titanfall 2, both of those things have you temporarily transfer into third person, and it kind of sucks you out of the immersion, to be honest. You wouldn't really think something so small would do that, but it really does. I mean, remember back in the campaign when you hopped into your Titan like a badass? Now, like I said last time, of course, I am no game developer, but I can't imagine this being the hardest thing in the world to implement. Maybe even have the option to leave the third person transitions on for those who like it or just don't care. I hate those people. Well guys, that's pretty much it. There's some other problems I have with this game. I feel like a lot of stuff is one step forward, two steps backwards, but I didn't want this video getting too long. But nonetheless, I am still very much enjoying this game, and it's very unfortunate that it had to be given such a terrible release date, crammed in between so many competing titles. The campaign is amazing, gameplay is fun, surprisingly no microtransaction, despite the fact that we have NO FUCKING SEASON PASS! And a business model like that deserves to be recognized. Oh, I also forgot to mention, we need some more game types. I was thinking of weekend social playlists and have like a floor is lava game mode running on some of the maps that could work well with it. And have some preset loadouts with grapple hook, making it five round elimination, pilot and pistols only. Just anything social and more fun related would be a great way for people to see this game in a different light that hasn't been shown off before. Maybe a titan only attrition? Hmm? As well, a mode like Battlefield's Rush or Halo's Warzone Assault could work great in Titanfall. I really do believe that. Now guys, most channels here on YouTube are going to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. No! That is way too much pressure. We are above that. Here at A Bad Password, we don't do like, comment, and subscribe. We do PayPal, gift cards, and social security. Go ahead, drop them all in the comments, people. This is a community of trust. And trust me, I will spend your money. But anyways, folks, that's the end of the video. Hope you learned something, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>